I'm Vishab Raj Prakash. I joined Fiji in class 9 in the classroom program. When I was in 6th, 7th and 8th standard, a few of my friends were already in Fiji. They had joined from class 6 and um even though I wasn't really faring bad in the marks per se in school, um they knew a lot more than me. Like they were talking about things like logs in uh, chemistry and I didn't even know what logarithms were as a mathematical concept. So the fact that they were exposed to so many things in class 6 7 8 8 made me push myself and i told my parents amma i want to go to fiji i want to see what all this is about how do they know so many things already so i wanted to experience the competition and a big factor of why i joined fiji was for the peer group we have so many great people in fiji who um, are talented in multiple things you have people specializing in physics chemistry maths writing all these olympiads and that was what was very surprising for me so i was like okay let's give it a go let's join fiji so i joined fiji in class 9 and once i started the classes i realized that oh my god there are so many things to learn there are so many things that we do not know and um, school does not take care of everything we need to learn right so i got introduced into all these new concepts i was not really you know particularly intelligent and um, knew all these things but um, as classes went on the faculty were extremely supportive they started helping me in all these um, small small problems that i had you know i remember texting my uh, physics sir how do i solve this um, pulley question there are eight masses how do i take care of all these things i cannot write eight equations but you know um, i realized there are certain shortcuts you can take and you know certain tricks you can do in manipulating the equations that i never knew and you know that is what excited me into physics so ninth standard was when we had um, the nsc js exam and um, that was a uh, you know a big turning moment for me i i did not think i was capable of solving such questions and the time format was also pretty taxing i was not able to solve questions that quickly but um you know with a lot of effort i had special classes with all those things i was able to you know slowly get a grip on such questions with small bits of effort i was able to clear um nsc js and you know that was a huge boost of confidence for me i was able to realize you know i can learn such things and i can become confident in such concepts and the fact that i was able to clear um you know such a difficult and challenging exam with a lot of competition really gave me a confidence boost and when 10th started um there was a lot of talk on this major exam which was by the government which is ntsc everyone talks about it the biggest um difficulty for um engineering students in ntsc is the show, social um subject and mathematics and the fact that it's from state board um many of the questions and since i was a cbse student i did not know any of these things the state board um social was definitely a challenge for me i was i didn't know any of those things and the fact that i had to open these textbooks download from online ncert state board syllabus um that was definitely not not easy for me and um, you know when finally the um, i wrote the exam i i did not feel confident in any of the questions uh, that i solved in social and even maths physics chemistry which i thought were you know relatively easier were not um, easy for me at all in the exam and um, i struggled with few of the physics and chemistry questions itself and finally when i got the scores i realized that um, i missed the cut off by less than 10 marks which was a big uh, blow for me i didn't realize that it it would be this difficult to clear an exam and um, the fact that you know um, a different subject than what i thought would be difficult was the most challenging part was a bit of a, um, you know it it changes your psychology in different ways i just decided to take it in stride and um, you know focus on other exams and um, 
the school board exam was something that um, you know i did not put too much focus on i was um, you know more focusing on different olympiads um, like um, rmo and um, inmo in class 10 and um, i did not think that uh, board exams would be such a big deal but the fact that i was able to get um, 490 out of 500 in the board exams was a huge consolation for what happened in the ntsc exam so i had some hope that you know maybe things will go on well from here and um, that was when i also decided to move into the integrated program so the reason i decided to move into the integrated program was because you know the classroom program had a lot of things which were good for me but at the same time you know i wanted to move into this full time i wanted to you know really tackle the ja advance see what iit is all about and see how challenging it is to clear it and i decided to move um, into the integrated program for 11th and 12th to see what it is about and um, during 11th the main exam which was talked about a lot was the kvpy so kvpy again had um, you know one chapter uh, or one subject which was biology which was something that you know i was not particularly strong at so i remember asking the fiji teachers um, about um, how do i study for biology well, uh, there are so many subjects uh, i mean so many chapters inside biology you have to study cells molecular biology evolution and um, all these things were pretty daunting for me so what i decided to do was um, i asked fiji for a certain biology faculty so that i can you know ask them doubts and get guidance and advice so what i did was a good 3 months before the exam i i asked my mother and father to um, you know buy the 11th standard and 12th standard ncert biology because um, only if i study if i start studying very early it will help me understand the concepts and get a get good grip on them early on which was uh, you know looking back uh, a really good decision because biology was actually um, not that difficult in the exam for me so um, biology ended up being a scoring subject and when i got my rank for the kvpy essay i was really shocked that you know it was a double digit rank i think i got um rank 75 so you know i uh, it was a huge turning point in my my journey towards um je i got the confidence that you know maybe i can finally you know do something i have the potential inside me i can clear it with a really good rank you know it's possible so um 11th standard also had um um the astronomy olympiad which was something i focused on you know i realized that not a lot of people you know get into the astronomy olympiad so i decided to focus on the astronomy olympiad and um, see what happens and astronomy olympiad is something i ended up qualifying up till the camp stage which was also a big confidence boost for me these two things in 11th standard that i cleared the kvpy and the astronomy olympiad gave me some hope you know that um, okay you have you have a good chance in iit you have the potential you have the capabilities and um, you might be able to clear it and once uh, 12th standard began um, you know it it basically it felt like it ended a month later there was literally no time in the middle you know we were focusing so much on you know the chapters the phase test the um, rdx exams the aits exams and um, it was a lot of just writing exams analyzing seeing where you went wrong and you know moving on that was how 12th felt like to me so um you know the 12th standard was uh, a very very fast year compared to um, 9th 10th and 11th the fact that i had um, consistent um, support from my faculties you know they were with me every step of the way they were asking you know how did you score in this chapter oh rishab this chapter test went a bit bad well, um why did it go bad for you where can you improve that the the consistent room for improvement that i had in every single chapter every single subject was um something i was consistently working on so the fact that i could work on each 
different chapter each different subject and try to master them was something that really helped me move forward i did not have that many one on one sessions but the fact that you know they were just uh, one phone call away or i could just message them on whatsapp and you know many of the times they would reply within uh, on on the same day itself and you know they'll say you know you can solve this question in this certain way you don't have to do all this work to you know just get the answer there is this shortcut why why don't you use it and um that was something that was consistently there some advice i'd like to give to the juniors is you know when you're spending so much time on all these questions you must not just remember you know how to solve this particular question but you must think about the art of thinking itself how to think and how to um you know come up with such an idea to help a particular question because some questions um when you see the solution you will think what is this um how how could i have thought about this the way to answer such a question how could i have thought about this is really difficult the only way you can um really answer that is just solve a lot of questions you know you just have to read this book read that book um you know pick up this question and um, see um how how others have solved it what shortcuts they have used or maybe you know just focus on the most basic method itself you know it's okay if the method goes a, a page long just write it and the fact that you're finally able to get the answer with all these calculations is still something so do not focus too much on you know finding the best method but focus on what was the first thought which made you think about this method when it comes to motivational quotes um all that comes to my mind is um you know whenever we ask the teacher you know i i don't have time to do this right um all they used to say was um you know you are an elite batch you should be able to do such things you know you are you are a student here you should be able to solve this what is this you are not able to do this you are an elite batch you have to do do such things you know the the only thing that came to my mind is you can solve such things that it was not really like um you know you have to um you know wake up at 6 o'clock you know uh, meditate do some yoga that was not sort of the advice i heard a lot more of the advice was you know just sit and solve it i'd like to thank all my faculty for being with me every step of the way the fact that i could ask them doubts any day and you know they'd just reply and i'd also like to thank my peer group a lot because there were so many talented and um, great performers people were um, good in a lot of different things you know some were good in bringing out these um, synthetic solutions in geometry some were really good in you know just um, writing a page of calculation very quickly and um, getting the answer with that i had to pick up on all these different styles of solving questions from them and you know i feel that was what really helped me you know get an all round perspective on how to solve questions